So you've just updated to Windows 10 Creators Update and now you may be having problems. Things might not work or you may not have problems and you just want to update and optimize your system or you may need me to save your life. Well, today I'm gonna to do all three for you guys. Welcome back guys, my name is Brian and I'll be up here in the top right hand corner guiding you through today's whole optimization process. And now the first thing you wanna do is if you haven't updated a creator's update and you do wanna update, then I'll put a link in the description below where you can manually update at any time. Though the first step we're going to go through is if you are having problems. And if you are, then I recommend going to the bottom left hand corner here, typing in settings and then left clicking on this tab here and then go to update and security. Then I want you to go down to left click on recovery and then click get started. And essentially now you can reset your PC on Windows 10 creators update and still have all your files there. I recommend keeping all your files because then you can just reinstall them. It will be a bit tedious, but it will be worth it with the creators update optimizations. Now, if you don't need to do this step or if you're not having problems, then you can skip this first step. Now, after we've resetted our computer, we can go back to the settings tab again, and we can go to, again, click on update and security and go to windows update tab here and click advanced options. And now in this tab, I want you guys to go down to choose how updates are delivered. And then you can turn this off though. If you are on a network with many PCs, you can keep it on PCs on my local network. And that will save you a bit of data on your connection. If you are data capped. Though the next tab we want to go to, so we can click back twice, go to Windows Defender, and then left click on Open Windows Defender Security Center. And then I want you guys to go down to this little icon here, the shield, and then I want you to click on Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Now here, I want you to disable these two. So the cloud-based protection, I like to turn that off, and I also like to turn off Automatic Sample Submission. So that way I'm not sending out any nasties or any data when I'm while I'm gaming, I won't be sending out anything. And also real-time protection, I recommend keeping this on because Windows Update 10 does do a pretty good job of protecting your computer. And I have benchmarked this in the past and having it on and off doesn't make a difference to FPS. Though the next setting we can go to now is go back to the homepage settings and click on left-click privacy and then I want you to go through these tabs and just copy my settings. So keep all these off, then left click on location and make sure all the settings are turned off here. Camera, you can turn that off. Microphone, turn that off. Notifications, again, off. And we just keep going through this list and making sure everything is turned off here. Though there is an important one that we will get to and that is the uh, feedback and diagnostics. Now we want to go down to feedback frequency. So I like to turn this to basic. And then I also like to go down here and go to never. So I don't want my computer sending out information whenever it wants to. So I like to turn that to never. Then we get down to background applications. Now I actually like to turn this off except for windows edge. If you're using edge, then it's a good idea to leave that on. If you're playing music on YouTube and you want, for example, that music to be playing on in the background then I do recommend just keeping that one on. And then that way, when you're listening to music, it will still work. So other than that, we can turn all these off, which is a little bit tedious and then app diagnostics. I want you guys to left click that and you can turn that off as well. Now for the next bar, ease of access, left click on that. And then we can go down to, I believe it's other options. And now I like to turn this one off. Play animations in Windows, off. So that tab is now done. Now to move on to gaming, which is a little bit of a controversial topic in Windows 10 Creators Update, as they have introduced a game mode, which essentially I have tested and I will be recommending to leave it on, especially if you're on an older computer. And so with this, I want you guys to not touch this setting in the game bar, but go down to game DVR, and I like to turn off record audio when I record a game, capture mouse cursor settings, and also set 60 FPS. And then here on the broadcasting tab, I like to turn off record audio when I broadcast and again, turn that option off and game mode. We can use game mode. 
So that is with the gaming setting there. Moving on to the next tab here, time and language, we can left click on that. And I like to turn off set time automatically. That way you are not syncing with the server and you can just set your time in manually. As you can see here, this is actually an accurate time of the time where I'm at at the moment. And now back at the settings menu, we can left click on accounts and just go to sync your settings. And I like to make sure this is all disabled. And then moving on to apps, this is quite a big one. And I want to uninstall all these apps that I will not need. So I'm moving through here, just uninstalling all this garbage that I will not be using. Candy Crush as well. I know that's a popular menace. So we like to get rid of that one. Feedback Hub. Yep. See you later. And we're going down to get office because I already have office. I just have to install it. Uh, keep password manager. No, thank you. And so we're just moving through and uninstalling all the baddies here, guys. Even OneDrive, I'm not a big fan of using it. Though you, if you do use OneDrive, you may wish to keep that. So Microsoft Solitaire, not a big fan. And then paid Wi-Fi mobile, see you later. People, yep, I would have uninstalled people if I had to. Yep, don't need people in my life. Okay, Royal Revolt 2, see you later. Skype, yep, I like the desktop edition anyway. And we're just moving through and getting rid of it all. So really, it's just a mass purging of all this stuff here, guys. Mass purging. So I wish they had money because I wanted to uninstall money. Get rid of it. <laughs> As you guys may have known for the last one. So add some features. That's all done. So all the stuff that we don't need is now uninstalled. We can go down now to default apps. If you like to change this around, you can. I just like to leave this on default now. And then we move down to the offline maps tab on the left here. And I want you to go down to automatically update maps and turn that off as I don't use maps through Windows. I actually like to use Google Maps and then also delete all maps. And then apps for websites, that's a tab that you can also turn off these two settings as well in apps for websites. I like to turn these two off too. And now back at the main page, we can then go to personalization. And I want you guys to move down to this one here. So occasionally show suggestions on start. I like to turn that off and I like to keep those two on. This is how I personally use my computer. You guys are welcome to copy that tab there. And then next on the taskbar, I like to actually do this one here, never. Combine taskbar buttons, never. That's just how I am. Some people may differ, but that's just me. And then the last tab we're gonna look at in settings here is the system. So left click on that, and then I want you guys to turn on nightlife if you haven't already, nightlight, <laughs> nightlife. Yeah, just turn that on, get in there, baby. So turn that on, and I like to also set the settings on default, 9 p.m. till 7 a.m. is actually pretty good for me. I do like this feature as you now no longer need flux. Now moving down to notifications and actions. So I like to turn off pretty much all of these except for get notifications from apps and other senders. Moving down to power and sleep, I'd like to never have my computer sleeping as sometimes it can be problematic. So I like to turn that to never and then moving down to the storage tab here. We don't need to touch that. Tablet, hide icon and we can also left click there and go to use desktop mode and don't ask me and don't switch. Uh, multitasking, it's up to you guys. I like to turn this off completely as I don't like those features. And then projecting on this PC, that's up to you. It's a tab that doesn't really do anything for me. And then lastly, shared experiences, which is a pretty important one. I like to turn this off and make sure it's off. So after we're finished with the settings menu, we can now go down to the left bottom search bar and type in system and then left click on system control panel, open that up and then left click on advanced system settings. So now I want you guys to go into performance here and then left click on this one and then i like to actually turn a lot of these off and oh you guys are welcome to copy the ones that i've got here so this is how i like to have this menu here and then for the other two we don't need to touch that and then click apply and then left click okay now for system protection i like to actually turn this off this is a controversial one but i've never had a problem with turning this off as usually when my windows has a problem i like to reinstall everything so that one is up to you, your mileage may vary. And then on remote, I like to click left click advanced and then left click and turn that off. Allow this computer to be controlled remotely and then left click allow remote assistance connections to your computer. I like to disable that unless you really need it, you can go and turn it back on in the future. 
And now another tab is in the system properties here. We can also go to startup and recovery. So left click that. And then I want you guys to uncheck this box here. Time to list uh, operating systems. And this will make your computer boot up just a little bit faster. Left click OK. And then we're done with the advanced system property tab. Now for this next step, we're going to go to the bottom left hand corner again, left click on the search bar and type in services.msc and then left click this one here, services desktop app. And then once we're in here, I want you guys to left click on the starters tab and this makes it easier to find things. So I like to go down now to distributed link tracking client and I like to right click that one and then click properties. And then I also like to go and left click on the startup type, click disabled, and then click stop, click apply. And there's also two other services that I do like to disable in this uh, settings tab here. And that is DM WAP push, which I cannot, here it is here. So this one here, DW WAP push service. So right click that and then click on disabled again and then click apply because that's like, like a keylogger service. It's a one that you don't want on your computer. And then the next one, we can also go to connected user experiences and telemetry. Right click this one, click on properties, left click disabled, stop and then apply. So they're the three services I like to disable. Some of the other ones actually don't start up unless you really need them. Like I know a lot of people like to disable these ones but I generally don't recommend doing it as they don't start up anyway if you are just gaming on your computer. Now, the last step we're going to go through here is just a little bit of tweaking on the desktop in general. So I like to right click some of these and unpin them from the taskbar just to clear up my taskbar. I also like to alt tab manually. So I like to left click show taskbar view button and turn that off. Also, while we're down here, I also like to just left click on the start button and also really just uninstall some of this stuff on here. Or if I can't uninstall it, I just turn the live tiles off. So, and then unpin them from the start button. So after you're doing that, you can, um, you, it just makes a little bit of a difference. It's not too much of a biggie, but it's just something that I like to do personally. Again, your mileage may vary, but I like to tune my uh, startup menu everything on my PC. I like it running perfectly and that's how I do things. And now two final tips for you guys. These are the last steps I like to do. This one is a little bit weird in Windows 10 creators update. So I want you guys to find a file on your computer. So just go on this PC, click in any folder, then left click a file here and then click view on the tab here and then go to options on the right here and then left click change folder and search options. And now I want you guys to go to view, left click on the view tab here. And then I want you guys to go down to sync, show sync provider notifications and then uncheck that, click apply and click okay. Now moving back to this PC, this is the final tip I have for you guys is to go here and we can see here we've got 199 gigabytes on this drive freed up. And now since I don't let my computer go to sleep or hibernate, and this last step is optional. If you have your computer hibernating and going to sleep, then I don't recommend you do this, but I like to type in CMD and then right click on this and then left click run as administrator and click yes, open this up and we'll watch the space uh, free up here. So I type in power CFG dash H and then type off, enter. And now if we refresh this, we'll see that we've now got seven gigabytes of extra space on our main OS installation drive. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's Windows 10 Creators Update Optimization Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite optimization and if it made a difference for you. Also, if you have any tips or tricks of your own, then be sure to drop them in the comment section below. And if they're really good ones that can help everyone out, then I'll add them to the description. And also on that note with Windows Game Mode, Make sure if you want to turn this on in games, your game is on exclusive full screen mode and not windowed mode. And then you can hold down the Windows key and press G. 
then click on the mechanical wheel and then while you're in the game you can turn game mode on and now i will have a video coming out addressing the performance of game mode versus game mode off versus the previous update of windows on a potato pc and there are some interesting insights that will be gained from that video and that's why i'm recommending turning game mode on and i'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye